Hello, good morning. Hope everyone's doing well today. Real quick, is the music good? Is it too loud? Is it too soft? Is it good? Please tell me. Okay, so today is an extra sub goal bonus stream because last week we hit 60 subs. Um, wait, hold. <laughs> hold, I forgot to fix it. Too. Hold, I can lower it a little bit. Okay, I'll, I'll figure it because like the music is a little bit louder. Put it here. Okay. So today's an extra sub goal bonus stream. Last week we hit 60 subs, so thank you, chat room. You guys are popping off this month, but we are doing a bonus just chatting stream. So today, rules are simple. If I say a word that chat pursuits that I the suits decides I cannot say, I have to give chat a sub. So exclamation word in chat. And some little chatter redeemed it already. <laughs> exclamation Burger King, no. Um, let's do and. So how the redemption works is it is timed out for five minutes. So therefore, I cannot say this word for five minutes, okay? So while we're doing that, to make it a little bit more difficult, we're going to be doing something that'll have me chatting, a little bit more of me with stream of consciousness. So we are playing Would You Rather. So feel free and play along in the chat room. Stop giving them ideas, Mac. Don't. Don't. My cap for today is 10 subs. Cause I, I need to save money aside for that subathon chatters. We got a loaded week next week. On Sunday, we have our Mario Kart tournament. So top three get VIP. On Monday, we are doing the calligraphy stream, um, portrait cards, and then the wallpaper for the subathon. And then on Tuesday, we are doing my one year anniversary subathon. So chatters, make sure you are here for that. Once we get an hour into stream, let's do an ad. Yeah, I'll be. I have to run ads every hour you give. Can we give subs? Yeah, but it won't... It won't do anything. <laughs> this is for me to give to you guys subs. You guys can give subs out of the kindness of your own heart. This is orange juice? It looks like shit. This is orange juice mixed with um, homemade um, mixed pu puree. Because with our cherries mixed in with pears... Um, blackberries, blueberries, and we made pu puree. <laughs> you set away a month's worth of Nintendo Online for Sunday? Nice. You better play, Deacon. Okay. So, Chatters, gentle reminder, if you want to choose that word, every five minutes, Chatters can use their channel points and redeem the word channel point and choose the word that I'm unable to say. So, let's go to get started. So, we had a little Chatter redeem the word already. So, our first word of the day is oh fuck Shit. <laughs> i forgot asterisk was a was a hotkey for me hold hold okay the first word of the day is damn because i can't say bad words okay word, first word of the day is damn so if i say damn from this point on until somebody else redeems i give chat a sub okay it doesn't count if i'm saying the word okay it doesn't count if i'm saying what the word is so from here on if i say the d word I can't. I give chat a sub, okay? Pretty easy. I don't swear a lot. As we learned last week, I don't swear a lot. Because I only swore one time. What's the word again? It's on screen, dumbass. <laughs> okay. So we can go ahead and get started. So my overlays are slightly different. So chatters, I can literally, I can literally only see the chat room right now. So don't mess around. <laughs> okay. Let's go and get started. Would you rather? Also, no, I'm skipping any questions that are inappropriate or I don't feel comfortable answering. So don't give me shit if I skip any questions, okay? Okay. Would you rather only wear revealing hot pink clothes or always have to wear socks and sandals? Now, can we answer the yeah? Of course, in the chat, we're here to have a discussion. And you guys gotta try and bait me into saying the word. Okay. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if I could live my whole life barefoot, I would. I do not like socks. I do not like shoes. If I could wear rubber slippers all the time, I would. Type a word in chat if you wear socks and sandals all the time or consistently. I never would. I literally never would. I think they are so uncomfortable. Now, for me, any chatters, if you don't know me, I don't mind wearing revealing clothes. Because, you know, I'm confident in my body. I like how I look personally. I just don't do it often because, you know, I don't want to be talked to in public. 
And especially being plus size, people will shit on you for wearing revealing clothes. But I don't mind wearing tank tops or shorts if I'm at home or doing chores. So, if I had to choose, I would wear revealing hopping clothes. I don't care. I don't give a shit. 46%? No way! Is that really that split? If it's always how to wear socks and sandals, you have to wear them all the freaking time. Not worth. Not worth at all. Okay, next question. Hi, Pride. Welcome to stream. I don't like having feet out. Me neither. Oh, wait, I do. I love having my feet out. I just don't show them. Okay. Would you rather? So, Jadis, as we're doing this, you don't have to, like, justify your answer. Just type 1 for blue, 2 for red, okay? Would you rather have bright blue hair or bright blue teeth? Okay. I'm thinking about this in, like, a realistic sense. Because, like, if Megan's ever going to get a job again, heaven forbid she gets a real job. Imagine streaming doesn't work out. <laughs> um, I genuinely don't- I know employers are prejudiced towards people who have piercings, who have colored hair. I know that's a thing. But the thing is with hair, I can change the color, right? Or is it kind of like... If I- if I, like, dye my hair at nighttime, and then... It just turns blue again in the morning, that'd be crazy. Oh my god! Mac, thank you for that gifted tier one! Thank you! Wait, did I put my sub goal on stream? No, I didn't. Oopsie! Okay, chatters, our sub goal today? Um, we are at 63, so goal is gonna be 70. If we hit 70, we'll do our next sub goal stream. But thank you, Mac, you get your name written in our sub goal journal. Chatters, has it been five minutes yet? I'm pretty good at not saying the word. So, chatters, every five minutes you guys can change the word using your channel points. Okay. But having bright blue teeth, I can just get those grills. I can cover them with, like, you know, those gold grills or the silver ones, or I can get white ones. I think having... Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so next word is O-R. <laughs> oh, no. That one is going to be difficult. Okay. Now I actually have to think before I speak, because, like, not cursing is fine. Okay, sorry, I- my cap was 10, but I don't want to hit 10. Okay. I think it'd be a lot easier to hide colored teeth, because I can get grills, I can get Invisalign, I got those teeth whitener things, I think that'll work. So, between the two, I'm gonna have to do bright blue teeth. Easy. What? Why are there so many freaking... <laughs> I was gonna say Karens, but they're not known to have blue hair. Man, that's crazy. 11%. Am I, th am I the minority where I belong? <laughs> Hi, Shaky. Welcome to stream. My hair wouldn't look good in color either, because, like, I got dark hair. My sister, she... So I'm being very careful. <laughs> and my sister, is she in middle school? She dyed her hair like red, so she had like two red streaks underneath, like below her hair, so it's kind of hidden. Okay, next question. Would you rather, between the two, be trapped in a sandstorm? Otherwise, Another option is, be trapped in a so snowstorm. <laughs> Man, this is so difficult! Okay. So, as you guys know, I do not like the heat. I do not like being outside. I'm a little incel. I like being inside. So... I didn't say it, guys! I did not say it! I feel like... Both would be kind of difficult to take shelter in, right? But with the snowstorm, I could make an igloo. I feel like that's plausible. But in a sandstorm, I'd have to find a cave. I wouldn't be able to like mold the sand like a s like snow. And I feel like the sand would like give me burns. Like you ever get like wind burn? You get sand wind burn. 
Yeah, but the snowstorm, you could layer up, yeah. So it would be a vibe. Okay, I think snowstorm is the better option. You know, I would rather on a live through hypothermia than boiling myself to death. I mean, to on a live. Okay. Majority. I'm back in the majority now. Sandy and eyes would be so much pain. Yeah, and be in my ass crack too. Okay. If I were a five year old girl, which I was, would you rather be a mermaid? I can't. It's so difficult to like stop myself and find another way of saying it. Yeah, I almost did it. Oh no. Oh no. Would you rather be a mermaid? It's so hard to think of another way to say it. It's so difficult to. Okay. Okay, wait, I, I, fig I figured out how I say it. Would you rather, one, be a mermaid, two, be a princess? Easy. Cut out the middleman. Um, if I were a princess, wouldn't I be rich? Wouldn't I be, like, idolized by all of society? And if I were a mermaid, wouldn't I be poached and, like, killed by hunters? I was watching Maya's stream today, and she was talking about, um, Maya Higa. She does, like, animal conservation. And she, they were talking about how macaws are being poached. And I was like, damn, I was sad. I'm gonna have to watch her VOD later. For practical reasons? Wait. If I were a mermaid, people would be like, oh my god, you're not real. Even if they freaking see me, they'd be like, oh, you're not real. I'm hallucinating. You'd be snatched away? I feel like people would try to kidnap me if I were a mermaid. I almost said it. I almost did it. If I were a mermaid. Either option, I feel like I'd be napped, right? Dude, not saying this word right here. This word. Can you guys see my cursor? Oh, frick, I messed it up. Okay, can you- Yeah, seeing- Not saying this word. Screw you guys. Thank you for changing them and thank freaking god. <laughs> I was struggling. Okay, new word, new word. I now cannot say the letter U. Wait, am I allowed to say the letter U, but not, you know, piece I two point, not this? No, because of the oil spills? Yeah. I would, I would need Dawn soap. You ever see those Dawn soap commercials where they're like cleaning the ducks and stuff? Okay. So I just cannot say the letter U. Oh, dude, not being able to say or, I feel so much better. Okay, I would choose princess. I would be rich. Huh? What? If you were a mermaid, they'd literally poach you. Did, didn't you guys not catch it? I said the word. I said they would poach the letter U. God damn! Screw the chat room. I almost did it again. I think, I think the rules we should clarify. If I say the word more than once before the word is changed, it still counts. So you guys can double dip. If I say the word another time before a chatter changes it, then it still counts. I think that's fair. Okay, princess, easy. Wait. I just realized the word is in the question. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Did I hate you guys? Ah! Wait, I said it again because I, I reread Max's message. Man, you guys are triple dipping on this one. Oh my god. I am literally DUM. 
I said the word again when I was calling out chat room. Oh no. Guys, guys. I said my cap was 10. I said my cap was 10. Oh, break. And, um, can I end stream after an hour? Is that fair? I was planning on going for two, but I think an hour is good. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the task at hand. Like, like I said, Chatters, I set aside, um, $50 for today. Um, I think we're gonna break my own... What you call it? My own sub goal myself. What's the game called? It's on screen, silly. Are you blind? I know that joke may be ableist, but I know you can read the chat room, Deacon. Oh! <laughs> oh. Omega lol. <laughs> yeah, I caught what I said! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why is this so difficult? <laughs> I do not like my chat room right now. You guys are trying- ah! talking stream no the redemption resets every five minutes chatters <laughs> it resets every five minutes Ugh, should I just not talk Ugh. has it been five minutes okay wait chatters hold Okay, thank- yeah, so- oh, it's- the reason why it was out of stock is because somebody else had it open, Crystal. Thank you for changing it, Issa. I almost said the word. Ay, Dio mio. I like A-Y, silly chatters, not the letter. Okay, I'm clarifying what the word is in parentheses, okay? Someone clip this, I don't know how. Emote only mode. Fuck! <laughs> Megan might have said the word when rereading a chat message. You guys can shut the fuck up now. Okay, five minutes. It's what, 11.35. Ay dios mio, no puedo hacerlo. What if Megan speaks in Spanish? Yo puedo. <laughs> Is that fair? But I was gonna... Como te speak? Explicar? No. That's to explain. Ay, Dios mío, no puedo. Deacon, you don't know Spanish? Ha. Ah. Should me and the mods tag Spanish? <laughs> okay, okay. Tell him, shut up. Wait, what if I just ignore chat? Ah! Too bad Megan can't cheer bits in her own chat room because then she could have saved a lot of money. Hi, Potato, welcome to stream.
Okay. Megan thinks she needs to speak a little bit slower. All of her- all of my friends tease me for speaking in the third person, but Megan thinks it's cute. Okay? And she feels... <coughs> she feels... That speaking in the third person from here on out will make this challenge easier since the word is the letter on screen, okay? Yes, Megan could make an alt account and share herself bits, but would that be beneficial? Because the cut she gets from bits is not as good. I almost said the word! Okay, let's go back to answering the questions. Would you rather look as fat as Peter Griffin, but actually be very healthy, or look toned, but actually be very unhealthy? Now, Megan, as previously stated, likes her body. She likes how she looks. She is very confident. But... A big concern for her is her health, and she understands that being plus size puts more stress on her body, meaning when you carry extra weight, your body has to work extra hard to carry that extra 20-30 pounds. So, as of recent, some chatters know, Megan has been experiencing limited mobility, extreme fatigue, so if Megan lost 50 pounds, she would be great, okay? So... <clears throat> she was thinking about this the other day, but... The people who ex- She has no knowledge, okay? She has no knowledge. The people who bodybuild, she understands that they eat well and they exercise, but long term, how good is that for the body? You know? She doesn't know. Because she knows that some people just exercise certain parts of their body to um, make their arms look good, or their legs look good, or their abs look good. But she thinks under exercising all parts of her body is important. As for anyone. Someone please change the goddamn word. Chatters, you got one minute left on even only mode. Okay, so Megan thinks... Let's be honest, she's nearly as big as Peter Griffin. <laughs> okay, next. Yes, Ring Fit is a sub goal stream. If it's not, she will add it today. Thank you, Issa, for changing the word. Okay. So the word has now changed to a transition word. So, this one is... I do not like my chat room. I know, okay, I'll be honest. If I were in a chat room and I could choose the word, I would choose difficult ones too. I would choose words like I, the, wait, I should not give you guys ideas. <laughs> This stream is gonna be a lot faster than I thought it would, yeah. Put a timer on screen. Well, you guys can just have the channel point box open at all times. Anyway, it, cause if I have a timer on screen, it's, it's too much for my little baby brain to handle. <clears throat> okay. Would you rather have high motor functions but have very poor senses? I assume um, what you call it, like eyesight or taste. Um, Crystal, I did see your redemption, and I don't have time to do the card, so I think I can refund you really quickly. If I can, I'll refund you right, right now. Yeah, um, Crystal, I don't have time to do the sketch card, so I'm refunding your points. You should get your points back right now. I forgot to disable that for today. Let me actually disable it. That way nobody else redeems. No, it's okay. I, for I forgot to disable some stuff today. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, everything else that we can't do today, I, I, I unredeemed. Sorry, Crystal. I, I have to, I have to pay my wallpaper today or Sunday. Okay. Anyway, back to the would you rather. Not saying AS is pretty not that hard. Yeah, would you rather have high motor functions but have very poor senses, or have superb senses but low functioning motor skills? No, I can see my viewfinder, you goof. Okay. As negative, as I previously mentioned, I have mobility issues, so it. If I could have no problems walking or standing around, I would highly take that. I already can't freaking see. I already can't freaking smell well. So blue was my reality. No, I didn't say it. Did I say it? No. When did I say it? No, what did I say? Did I quote me? What did I say? Did I really? Did I? Did I say that? Oh no, I do remember re saying that statement. <laughs> guys, I think I'm gonna end stream in an hour. I don't. I don't think I can do two, guys. I'm already. I'm already hitting my cap. Oh no. Okay, anyway, blue is literally my reality, so I might as well choose that. <clears throat> okay, next. Would you rather walk barefoot in a Lego factory or walk barefoot on burning hot coals? Okay. So. <clears throat> I feel like in the Lego factory, I assume they do not have Legos scattered all over the floor, because that would be an unsafe work environment. That'd be kind of silly. But, isn't there a way to walk on hot coals and you won't get burned? Isn't it like a mental thing? <clears throat> but, I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think I could ever muster up the courage to walk on coals. I honestly would rather walk on Legos. I feel like I could handle that pain. <clears throat> yeah, I think chat room agrees with me. Hmm. Hmm. Peace too. Hmm. <clears throat> Would you rather stay in school for the next 30 years or leave school after second grade? Okay. <clears throat> so my dad. Lived experience. He didn't go to a lot of elementary school. Because he didn't have um, good parental figures is what is the most I will say. So he spent a lot of his time skipping school. Like just running around town. So basically, he didn't go to school until middle school consistently. And not saying my dad is dumb, but he didn't develop the social skills that a lot of kids had and that they learn in elementary. <clears throat> so because of that, those kind of behaviors have bled into the way he parents and the way that I conduct myself. So I think leaving school after second grade is not good. Not good. Paying school for the next 30 years? Isn't that literally like a doctorate? I feel like <clears throat> I would take that. Because like if I had the means and the money, um to stay in college for that long that I could get so many degrees. Okay, thank you for changing Issa. Another transitional word. Just take off the S, Lamau. Okay, so. I cannot say this letter. <laughs> so I, I cannot say the letter or the actual single letter word. Okay, now... <clears throat> I gotta be careful. I have to be careful. Yeah, Deacon, you can't count. Would you rather... <clears throat> stand on red hot burning coals for 30 seconds without moving... Or shut your hand in said waffle iron for two minutes. Which would take longer to heal? Your feet or your hands? Because I feel like you use your hands a lot. 
but your feet, you stand on those a lot, so those would be consistently, like, agitated or irritated. But two minutes? Long time. Very long time. Maybe I should... Maybe I should just transition the pigeon colloquial slang. That way I take out transitional words. Like, you know the kind? Because a lot of pigeon, it doesn't have the words the or said letter that I cannot say. Um, pigeon cuts out a lot of transit. Did I say it? No. No, I didn't. Fuck. No way. Oh, I did when I was listing the transitional phrases. <sighs> Guys, I I hit my cap for today already. What what am I what am I going to do? I I've hit my cap. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're going to pause. We're going to pause. We need to discuss the rules real quick. Okay, we're gonna pause. We're gonna pause. So, my cap for today was 10. I can say A because we're, we're on pause. We paused the game. Um, my cap was 10. So, I think something fun would be I gift you guys 10, okay? And then from here on out, I can say the words as many times as I want, but, for example, the time, the, the count caps at 10, okay? But then, it counts down from 10, back to 0, and, but then it keeps going back up to 10. Okay, so for example, if I say a word 14 times, the counter would go all the way up to 10, and then it would count back 4, so it would go down to 6. So, guys, you will get the 10 right now. I will give you 10 right now. Like I said, my cap is 10. So you guys can either take the 10, or we can handshake to do an additional up to 10, but from here on out, for the counter, we'll go up to 10, but we'll count backwards from 10 every time I say words. So we'll just go back and forth for the counter. I think that's interesting. Either way, either way you guys get 10 right now. So if we, if we, um, go stream for another hour and a half, that 1 through 10 counter for the words will bounce between 1 and 10. So to clarify, the deal is either you guys get your cap of 10 right now, or wait, wait, let me clarify. If we do the, we count backwards. I will increase that cap to 20. So you guys can get up to double or nothing. Hi Titans, welcome to stream exclamation word. So to clarify, either you guys make me cap and I give you 10 right now. Or we hold, you guys hold, and we keep the count going up to 20. But if we hit that 20 cap, we count backwards all the way to zero. And we keep going back and forth between 20 and zero. So you guys can get my brain camp processes. I can afford 20. I got like 2k in my savings. Anyway. So you guys can get up to 20. Okay? Do, do you guys understand? Type one in chat if you understand the deal. We'll, we'll do a poll in a second. But do you guys understand the deal? Type one in chat if you understand. If we take the time, we keep playing... But yeah, we'll keep playing for fun. But if you play for fun, you guys have to give me subs. Hey! <laughs> Till you don't understand. You got another deal? What's the other deal? I'm short circuiting? Okay. I didn't think I would hit 10, so I gotta think of something on the spot, okay? And you send me 2k? No. <laughs> no. No. Someone explain in Zoomer terms? Okay, Mac. Either you guys get 10 subs right now, or you guys get nothing. But we keep playing, and you guys can get up to 20, between 20 or 0, with a counter. It's not, guys, it's not that hard. Am I just bad at explaining things? I thought, my doctor told me I was fucking intelligent, okay? And articulate. Just do what you want, actually true. 
<laughs> oh fuck. Okay, chat. Okay, so I think you guys understand the deal. Let's run a poll. Okay, chat. Pokemon, go to the polls. Pokemon, go to the polls. Guys, you guys suck. Come on. Do the 20. Come on, it's fun. Do up to 20. Guys, I'm voting for 20 myself. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Screw you guys. I should have used bits for this poll. <laughs> Guys, you're losing out on up to 20 gifted if you don't choose the second option. Come on. Already been one of your favorite streams. Nice. I'm glad to hear that, Crystal. Come on, please. Can we get more votes for the 20 gifted? Guys, you guys can get up to fucking 20 subs. No, don't take the 10. Don't take the 10. Lurkers, you guys can vote too. It's not just chatters. Everybody can vote. I love very savory in that little sip. I'm being careful because there's like clumps in it. I don't want the clumps. Oh, it's close! Guys, come on! Let's do the 20! Let's do the 20! I'm shaking! Let's do the 20. Do 20 regardless? No! No, I have to save money for next week, you goof. I have to sub a thon. Guys, you guys can do. Up to 20, that's crazy! You guys can get two sub goal streams if we do the 20. I took the 10. Screw you, Mac. Ah, come on! Guys, we need one more vote for 20. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, please. Please. Guys, come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, you guys actually threw one vote. Ugh. Okay, well. Damn. I don't understand what happened, Mac. I told you what to vote, and you guys didn't listen. Four, three of you guys listened to me, so thank you. That was our most active poll. Ugh. You guys get ten. I'm so broke. Oh my god! Who gets to 10 subs? Fucking me. <laughs> Let's see what we got. We got Scott. We got Q. God damn. Oh my god, look! We hit our sub goal, guys. Holy shit. God, end me. Just end me, please. Okay, like I said, you guys capped it at 10, so you only get 10 today. You guys could have gotten 20. But you guys didn't take my handshake deal. Wow, we broke the sub goal. Holy shit. Crazy. Okay, let's get a new sub goal up. <laughs> um, let's see. We are at... So, I don't think I can... We can maybe do that extra stream on Friday, but I don't know. Because I, I, I just got stuff to do next Friday, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, next goal is 80. Wait, why does it say 63? What? Did I fall off? Am I really at 63? What the fuck? Okay. My sub goal was broken. Should be fixed now. The guaranteed option is not better. Okay, wait. One, one second. I don't know why I keep saying 63. I'm not at 63. Hulk. Hulk. Okay, sub goal fixed. Okay, it's fixed now. I was playing it safe. Yeah, but you, you got missed out on 10. You guys could have cost me 50 more bucks. But you know, it's too late. We're not going to do well. It's fine. It's fine. You guys got your 10 fucking subs. 
Okay, but that means I can... I can do whatever I want now. There's no stakes. Like, nothing happens. We're just doing this for fun now. Okay. Now, I have nothing to worry about. Dude, I cannot believe I hit this my cap this early on. You! Why are we doing that word again? It's fun that way, though? No, it's fun to play with more stakes. Stakes on top of stakes, my man? 20 option was very bad. No, it was great. It was good for both Charum and me. <laughs> okay. The word is now changed to the letter U, but the same sound, but the referring to another person. 20 was not bad. Yet some people vote for it, so it must have been good. <sighs> Okay, now there is no stakes, so... Now, we are doing this for fun! Imagine doing something for fun. Blah, blah. Okay. Oh, it's this word again. Yeah, we're, we're doing this for fun now. Do I have to change my title now? Because we're not doing subs anymore. I I'm not gonna clickbait. Okay. Changed my title. You voted for my option because you felt bad? Yeah, I feel bad for myself too. Did I say it? Wait, I, I don't know if I said it. Did I? It don't matter. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Would Megan rather... Wait, we talked about this one. But we didn't finish it, though. Um... I think 30 seconds is more bearable than 2 minutes. But, waffle irons aren't that hot. Hmm... You say 2. Hmm... I don't know. Cause, like, the waffle iron's gonna go like this, right? Hmm... 30 seconds? 30 seconds seems bearable. But if I stick my left hand there, I don't use this bitch anyway. Mmm... Hands are more useful than feet? True. Ah, uh, cools! Oh, wow, I... I that one's very close. Okay, Chris, so you're being a debate, Andy. We're not debating. I don't like when they're like, um, actually. <laughs> okay, would Megan rather be a regular on a daily soap opera or make one line cameos in three large Hollywood blockbusters every year? Okay. Cameo's kind of cringe. Nobody remembers the actors from Cameo's unless they have a big presence already. But being on a soap opera, you have a guaranteed job for multiple tapings, multiple episodes. So I think that is more consistent income. And soap operas are- What? If the actor has a one-line cameo, that's like being in a Bella Porch video where you say, Hello, Miss Porch. I will open the door for you, Porch. Ah! I said it. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> wait, we should have a counter on screen at least. <laughs> wait, wait, I'll, I'll put a counter. Oh, we can at least keep track of how many times I slip up. <laughs> for whom they go all. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's do mess ups. Since we're not doing subs, because I am already broke. I already messed it twice. There we go. You sub to us? No, no, no. I told you. Ah! I told Chatroom that my cap was 
Thirteen. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Should we, should we make the new count be goal of 69? She's struggling? Yes, I am struggling. I think we're at 12. Oh, uh, no. I'm only gonna count from the after the subs. That way we can keep track. Anyway. Cameo's cringe. If you're a regular on a daily soap opera, guaranteed income. How do I cope? I don't. Would Megan rather be known for interrupting Taylor Swift or be known for smacking Rihanna? Hmm. Would I rather be known as jumping on stage or assaulting someone? Hmm. Who would want to sm smack some? Change the word to be? Okay. Yeah, I think I know both situations as well, and both aren't cool. Okay, what was the word? The letter. This letter. If you could do only one, would you rather sit or stand? Now, I live a very sedimentary lifestyle, so I sit basically all day. And standing is very difficult on my bad knees and my bad feet. I would rather sit. People sit. I'm um, skipping this one. Trigger warning. Not talk about that. Hmm. Would you rather drive a smart car or drive a Lamborghini and fill up four times a week? Aren't smart cars the ones with like the iPads and the cars? If a smart car was a guaranteed electric, then I would do that. But a Lambo, I would get pulled over by the cops all the time. And they'd probably like assault me or something because I'm not white. Um, anyway, and my insurance for the Lambo, insane. Crazy expensive. The British car? Hmm. I would choose a smart car because I would look intelligent. <laughs> would you rather live forever or until the end of the universe? Thanos, snap. Or I'm alive right now with no afterlife. Um. Not to get too philosophical, but I don't necessarily believe there is anything after life. Because nobody has really lived it, right? So we don't know what's after. I feel like if I can live forever, then I would get to experience everything that I want to experience. Maybe I'll get bored, but... If I just cut it off now, then there's so many things I miss out on. Right? Blue, I'll be... What is a DeLorean? Is that- I know that's nerd shit, but I don't know what type of nerd shit. I would smile forever. <laughs> Shatters, has it been five minutes? Can we change the word? Okay. Kids are gross. Yeah, they are. Okay. If you owned a time machine, would you rather it be a DeLorean? God, fuck. <laughs> I said it. It was in... I forgot what the word was. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. 
Okay, okay. Um, I know Telephone Booth is Doctor Who, but DeLorean, what is that one? I don't like either of these. I, I, I know the Telephone Booth, so let's do that one. Would you rather teleport to places you've already been or teleport to places you've never been before? Hmm, okay, we need to think about the practicality of this situation. If I could teleport to places I've already been, I could snap to the snore and to the snore to the store and snap back. But if it's places I've never been before, I could travel the world. Hmm. Imagine you chose red and ended up at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, that would actually be bad. I think that is convincing me to go blue. Blue is right. I'm just thinking of practicality, guys. I teleport to your mom's house? True. <laughs> Would you rather... Become... Batman, or become Superman? Um... It? Okay. Word is now changing, Chatters. The clown movie. Hmm... Batman is smart and has money. Superman is strong. Hmm. If I had money, then I can do whatever I want. But if I'm strong, I can beat up whoever I want. He's like to punch everybody. Hmm. Guys, I'm sweating up a storm right now. Hmm. Superman! I can beat up anybody. Would you rather give a speech to the whole nation or have to sleep with tarantulas on your bed? For how long, though? How long are the tarantulas going to be in my room? Hmm. Because the speech is a one-off thing. I would have to maybe do the speech once. I would tell them my cash app. <laughs> yeah, I, I could tell everybody at the speech to sub with Prime, my Twitch channel, because chatters, you know what time it may be? It may be it's time for an ad. <laughs> Did you guys you see how fog up? You guys see that? This is fog on my glasses. I'm sweating so goddamn much. Anyway. Chatters, it's time for me to run an ad. You can avoid the ad break by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee today and get ad previewing all month long. Or, make your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and get a free Prime sub every month. Now, if I open a window, uh, the sounds will be too loud. Wrong scene. Okay. Hmm. I think I would choose. Uh, the question is, how long are the tarantulas gonna be in my room for? Is this isn't it just like Animal Crossing, how the tarantulas come out at night? I feel like I can handle that, and, hmm, yeah, if I give a speech, I'll just tell them to sub with Prime. <laughs> okay, would you rather be four feet tall, or be ten feet tall? Um, hmm, I feel like being ten feet tall would be more of a struggle than being shorter. Because if you're 10 feet tall, you'd be like, perpetual hunchback. Like, you'd be so- your posture would be so messed up. Max! Stop! That's so mean! <laughs> oh my god, you don't live as long? Come on! That's not very nice. <laughs> um, 
Oh my god. I, I know it's true, but it's like, whoa, dude. Whoa! It's like, a bit too real, my guy. <laughs> I think four feet. I'm already five feet, so it's not... I don't think it'd be that much different, honestly. Okay, would you rather appear on Oprah or Jerry Springer? What is the word? Okay. <laughs> what is the word? <laughs> um, bye Crystal, we'll see you next time, hon. What was on the Jerry Springer show? Oprah's cool. We love women in media. Yeah, and I can give away free cars! Okay. Uh... Frick. Would you rather get hit by a bus or watch someone get hit by a bus? Good. This one, red, would traumatize me for life. Because my parents have gotten in a car accident, thankfully I didn't see it, but... Mm, it brings up that question of like, do you want to die before your family members die? Like, because if I get hit by the bus, then they would see me struggle. But if I watch them get hit by a bus, then they're the one that's struggling. So I think the right answer is Bay. <laughs> therapy or physical therapy? I feel like you would need both. Hmm. I've nearly gotten hit by buses and cars just being like on the sidewalk. It's so freaking dumb. I hate the US transportation system. Roads suck too. Hmm. I feel like if you chose red, then you are very selfish. <laughs> okay, let's change the word. <laughs> Damn, I can't say P side 2 HMM anymore. Sag. <laughs> huh? Wait, I could say huh instead. Okay. Would you rather be a student the rest of your life or be a teacher the rest of your life? Okay. I feel like especially now being a teacher would be so shitty. Like genuinely. And like, did you hear how in Florida they're passing legislation to where um, active military and their spouses can become teachers even though they don't have the education or the qualifications to teach? Isn't that kind of psychotic to think about? Peace, I too, H, M, M. But if I'm a student, then I can keep learning, right? Because being a teacher, you have to deal with other people. Kind of crazy. I'd rather be learning my whole life. What? I didn't. What? Why is the split so big? I want to be a log life. <laughs> yeah, I think if you chose red, then I think that is more that's gonna be more toxic on your mental health than I think being a student the rest of your life. Honestly. And it doesn't say what type of class. Maybe I could be in a ceramics class. Okay, would you rather fight 100 third graders one at a time or fight 50 third graders at the same time? Dude, I'll be. I'll be beat. I'll be blue. If I could dock them Peace are two, punch them one at a time, easy clap. But if they're all charging me, I get trampled to death. Easily. So one, obvi. Obvi. No arguing past that point. Red! You're crazy, Deacon. Okay. If you're starving... Oh, shit. Uh, would you rather eat your own hand or eat a loved one's eye? Well, you know, I gotta eat. <laughs> I've already done it, what? Moderators, keep an eye on, um, Mac? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Wait! I said it. I forgot it. <laughs> Oopsie. I didn't say PS to HMM that time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was- I know, I got myself, okay? Um, would you rather eat your own hand or eat a loved one's eye? Does that mean I'm gonna have to like stab out their eye? 
and retrieve it myself. Like, I, I don't think that's what it means, right? I don't think it means I gotta, like, attack them to get their eye. I feel like that's kind of crazy. Isn't it, like, impossible, like, in your head to, like, eat yourself? Like, you know how when you bite your hand, like, there's a little thing in your brain that tells you, Hey, Megan, don't bite too hard, you gotta bite off your finger. Like, I don't think you physically can eat your own body part. Maybe if it's detached already, maybe you can, but if it's still on you, I don't think you can do it. You could easily bite off your finger? No, I, isn't- I read somewhere there's like a mental block in your head that prevents you from like hurting yourself to some capacity. Where your brain stops? Yeah, that's what I said, okay. Okay, Mac, that is true, but it says I have to bite my own hand off, you dangus. Um... Controversial. <laughs> oh no, uh oh. Oh no. In my head, I think they're o they're already detached. Because I think it'd be very difficult to like just bite off your fingers. So in my head, I think my hand is already detached, therefore their eye is already detached. So that's that's what makes sense in my head. Anyway. <laughs> okay. If you were offered the chance, would you rather leave Earth forever and live with a race of aliens? Or get to meet a race of aliens but stay on Earth? Um, if I leave Earth and all my friends and everything that I like about the world is gone, and I don't know what that unknown place is, but if they come here, that'd be pretty cool. Oh. Well, because nobody would believe red. True. But then I, I have great stories. Imagine, I do a stream. I met aliens! <laughs> um, I think red. I think red. I think blue is too much work. Like, would I, would I be manning the spaceship by myself? Th wait, didn't this happen in... Wait, what's the movie called? It's Avatar! <laughs> Okay. Would you rather speak every language except the language of the country you're currently in? Or speak only the language of the country you're in but know the meaning of every single word in that language? Ooh. I think this comes down to can I work at the airport as a translator or be a five head English nerd? I don't understand. Well, it's because you you don't have the mind of the red person. No, I think it means the primary language. Like, the national language. It's probably what it means. <laughs> My mind is very simple. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Okay. I think it'd be cool to know every word. Hmm. I think red would be interesting. Because then I could sound super smart all the time. Changing the word to okay? Got it. Would you rather play Goldeneye or Halo? Don't do that sign yet. I forgot. It's bad. I I know. I know. I forgot. It's like I I grew up using that before it was banned, before it was reclaimed by the bad people. I know. I'm not dumb. I don't. I know not to do it. Okay. Would you rather play Goldeneye or Halo? I didn't play either of these. I honestly don't like the mechanics of older games, so I think Xbox would be easier to play. Because I'm just thinking about, like, will it make me, like, a rage quit or not? Okay. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> Dude, why am I playing better when I don't have subs on the line? <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. See, I'm telling you guys, if we did the 20 deal, you could have gotten 20. We are already at 7 over 10. You guys could have gotten 17. You guys actually threw. Ugh. I do meal. Yeah, you guys actually threw. Next. I almost said it again. Would you rather have all fingernails and toenails removed quickly or deep paper cups on the webbing between each finger and toe slowly? So the webbing, they mean the skin between your fingers. <sighs> okay. This one might seem kind of crazy. I said it again, didn't I? You guys should have gone with the 20. I'm telling you guys, you should have gone with the 20. I'm now realizing how much I say the word. Am I saying letter O, letter K, or letter O, letter letter K, letter A, letter Y? I think they both are the same thing, technically. So, chatters, think whenever you get a paper cut. Is it really that bad? You know when you get a paper cut with cardboard and it's really deep, but it never seems to, like, bleed? Or that's how it is for me, rather. I agree. Blue does seem scary. Like, the visual of not- I've been growing my nails for a long time. And I don't like them long. And to think that they'd be completely gone? That would be scary. Deep ones would reopen? I guess, but... I feel like a paper cut would be easier to heal than losing all of your nails. I feel like paper cuts would maybe heal after a week or two, but nails would take multiple, multiple weeks, right? I think red is better. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it'd be that close. Next. Would you rather lick the floor to club or lick a toilet seat at Walmart? I mean, either way, there's probably gonna be at Drugs on both, right? Honestly, honestly. Do they mean like a kids' club? Like a daycare? I feel like there's a lot more germs on the floor. You know why? Because the floor, it's tracking in all of the germs from your shoes. Anything that is spilled on the floor. So you have no way of knowing. But a toilet seat, the most it'll probably have is just waste and fecal matter. Which... Is still bad. But... Uh... You guys are gonna judge me. But wasn't there- okay, hold, hold, hold. Wasn't there like a study done saying that, um, what you call it? <laughs> wasn't there a study done where they like swabbed toilet seats and like common household objects? Isn't a sponge more dirty than a toilet seat? Because it's not consistently as cleaned and it's reused. Think about the shoppers at Walmart? Yeah, but... I don't think it's nearly as bad as the freaking floor. You're, you're gonna judge me. <laughs> no, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. You never re reuse sponges, really? Huh. I chose red. Enter red. Nobody judge me. 
Next, would you rather own a lightsaber or know the ways of the Force? Either way, you look like a dweeb, so I think a, a combative weapon would be cooler. Ah! Uh, okay. Like I said, I'm going for aesthetics. I, I want to look cool. Got it? Did I say the word? I generally don't remember if I said the word. <laughs> Lightsabers are so dangerous, but that's why they're so cool. That's so cool. I want to look cool, okay? The force is pretty epic, but I don't think it looks as cool. I seem to be picking a lot of controversial minority opinions today. Um, interesting. Would you rather have an attractive spouse that treats you badly or have an ugly spouse that adores you? Avi, red. Avi, red. Why would you... Okay, I know there's a reason, there's a lot of reasons why people choose to stay in abusive relationships. But... If anybody is ever treating you wrong, disrespecting you, assaulting you, um... It's not going to work in the long term. They, it'll take a lot for them to change their behaviors. And you shouldn't be there to help them through that. You should be respected and treated with decency. And just because other people think they're ugly doesn't mean I think they're ugly. Okay. Would you rather... Win a $5,000 shopping spree to any store. Or win a 10-day free vacation to any destination. Hmm. See, when I think of this... You know how you see, like, those um, game shows where, like, you just won a free car! You get taxed on that, right? But if I'm just given a $5,000 Visa debit card, I just cash out and go. Right? See, if it's a 10-day free vacation, would they pay for everything? I don't, I don't know. I mean, it'd be fun, but... Next story time of what? I didn't win the lottery. That'd be crazy, though. See, I'm thinking about practicality. Because a vacation would be fun. That would be great. But... I feel like $5,000 would be great for me. Because I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a job. So I think $5,000 just flat out is better for long-term... Not investment, but for my sanity. Like, being able to have... Oh, it says I have to spend it at a store. I mean, that'd be groceries for, like, forever. Not forever, but maybe a year or two. See? Exactly. That story, Deacon, it exactly shows why, like, those type of giveaways are not beneficial in long term. Like, they seem fun, but they're scummy and scammy. Okay, Chad, does anybody want to change the word? I think it's been five minutes. I love how I thought about clothes over food. Yeah, Mac has their party straight. <laughs> hey, one second, guys. I gotta fix something real quick. Not say my name. That'll be easy. Easy clap. I can never say my own name. Guys, my laptop is so warm right now. Okay, would you rather serve seven years at a tough prison or kill and eat your pet dog? Well, <laughs> I don't have a pet dog, and I'm never going to have a pet dog. I feel like if you ate and killed your pet dog, you would go to jail anyway. 
right? Like, if that got leaked, people would be like, <gasps> It'd probably give me more jail time than somebody who actually fucking murdered somebody. They found out I killed my dog. Either way, I'm going to jail if they find out, so... Okay, that makes it seem like I wouldn't do it, but... Either way, I'm ending up in jail, so it's not worth... It's not worth me going through the trauma. Okay, I don't know shit about sports, so I don't... I don't know what the fuck to choose. Okay. Would you rather be a cyborg or be an animal human fusion thing? <laughs> so, be an animorph or be a robot? I think being a robot is cool. Like, imagine I could, like... You know how they have those smart watches? I could just have a smart arm. And I could have, like, so many microchips. Imagine you got morphed with a fish. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. But then I'd be a mermaid. Hmm. I think a cyborg would be cool, and I think that's the way of the future. Why is that so split? Why do people want to be freaking furries? My god. <laughs> okay. Would you rather be the first person to walk on Mars via a one-way trip, or never travel to space? Dude, it says one-way trip. I would never go back home. Hmm. Yeah, one way. I would never come home. Weren't they doing that? Where they were like, hey, NASA's looking for volunteers. You can go to space and never come back. But I would be the first person. How? Imagine how much clout I'd get. I. They'd film me walking on Mars... And I'd be like, sub to peace and with prime. <laughs> um, I would never go to space. Even if I had the opportunity to travel, I would never go. I feel like it's too dangerous. Because with planes, they know what they're doing. But with space, I don't think they know what they're doing. And like, if there's an emergency, I ain't living. No way. I, I can't even handle other shit. Okay. Would you rather have long curly hair like I do now, or have short straight hair? Hmm. Now, I have been asked if I have ever wanted straight hair. I've never wanted to. Like, you know the cliche of, like, wanting to look how you don't look, whether it be, like, changing your hair, changing your body type? I've never been that type. I've always enjoyed how I looked and like my features and that type of thing. And I feel like with short hair, you can't style it as much. To, it all depends on the cut you get, right? Um, I feel like longer hair is a lot easier to style. I don't know. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, Mac. Thankfully, I've never experienced dysphoria for any capacity, but I know other people do. But... I think for me, I, I don't think I like short hair. Because it wouldn't it wouldn't look good on my head shape. Because like I got a wide face. It wouldn't look good on me. Like even though I have my hair up most of the time anyway, I don't think I'd like it. I'm gonna stick with what I got. Oh, well, is it really that split? Damn. Okay, this is this is superhero shit, right? I don't- I don't know what the freak either of these are. Hey, what the fuck is this song? I go, I skipped it, because it was like, words. Okay. If you were a pirate, would you rather have a pet monkey or a talking parrot? I talked about earlier how parrots are being poached and imported into the states internationally, which is not cool. 
I mean, they probably do that with pet monkeys too. Honestly. Wait. Is that good? <laughs> I think having a pet monkey would be cool because then we could swing. You know how, like, on the ships they have the mast and then they have, like, the, the rope that you climb on? I think it'd be fun to play with the monkey. Monkeys are dangerous, though. Being a pirate is dangerous on its own. <laughs> okay, would you rather watch, or would you rather always watch Nicolas Cage movies or Owen Wilson movies? Hmm. I feel like Owen Wilson is funnier. <laughs> so I'm going with that. I feel like Nicolas Cage has become more cringe over the years, but I think Owen Wilson will be funnier. To live in, would you rather have a mansion in Beverly Hills or have a penthouse in Manhattan? If I had a mansion, I could have a crazy streamer house. I'd have a streamer mansion. Isn't okay? Isn't a penthouse like? Is it? Is, are those the skyscraper buildings that have like a flat floor, per like floor or something? Is that what a penthouse is? I'm not rich, so I don't know. City's nice if you have money. I feel like anywhere you live would be nice if you live in a good area and have money to support your lifestyle. It's like a big apartment. That's what I thought. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. See, I like having my own space. I like not being able to hear my neighbors. So even if I live in a big lonely mansion, I feel like that'd be a lot better than hearing my neighbors. Or like having to like walk up the stairs or take the elevator to my 50 story flat. You know? I think a mansion would be better. Then I could have my family live there. And be worry free. Oh, is the penthouse the top floor? Dude, if there's an emergency like a fire, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. That, uh, that's why I'm genuinely so scared of like ever living in an apartment. Because like you're either scared of like your neighbor tenants. Or if there's an emergency where you have to evacuate, it'd be very difficult to. That's what I'm scared of. Cause like, I have escape routes in my home if there's an emergency, but if there's an apartment, you're screwed. And there's not a lot of, like, safety infrastructure in terms of getting out. They have fire escapes that'll break! Okay, anyway. We did this one already. Um, would you rather go to Harvard or Yale? I feel like both are too frou-frou, and I'd rather go to an art school. I, I don't know anything about either, because when I was applying to colleges, I didn't even look at the Ivy Leagues, because I would never qualify. And that wasn't, like, a path I wanted to go on. I don't know. I'm gonna close my eyes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about either. Okay, would you rather vote for Obama or Romney? So, when that election was going on, I was in fourth grade, and I have a memory of us talking about the election and watching the debates in fourth grade, and our teacher gave us a slip of paper and saying, right, who would you vote for? And this is when I was going to school in Hawaii, so it was like all like, um, there's very little white kids in my classroom. And I had this memory, I had these two friends who were white blonde kids in the classroom. And how she had us vote is we had to go out into the hallway, write down who we vote for and put it in like a box. And I was standing next to my friends, and they were like, who are you gonna vote for? And <laughs> my two friends were like, we're gonna vote for Obama because he's black. <laughs> And I was like, okay. Because like, I didn't understand like racial issues at all at the time. And I, I had no idea what politics were either. Because I'm in fucking fourth grade, right? And in Hawaii, there's a lot of like Asian people. There's a lot of um, brown people. So not a lot of white kids there either. Um, not as progressive, but it's still a pretty democratic area. But I just thought it was so funny that... <laughs> um, 
those kids were that aware when they were fourth grade. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, I would obviously vote Democrat because Republicans are brain dead. Even now, I feel like the Republican Party has devolved to a state of no return, like... It, it's crazy to think how anti-science they are, how anti-human rights, it's crazy. I, even if I liked a candidate, if I liked the personality of the Republican representative, I would never vote. Because at its core, it chatters. Keep in mind, you're not just voting for the candidate, you're voting for the whole fucking party. So, I feel like a lot of people, not a lot, but a, a good portion of people voted for Trump because either celebrity, so they idolized him, or haha, funny, he still lost, or he still won in 2016. And just name recognition as well. Like, I think Trump winning, obviously really bad, because the um, Senate representatives went to majority Republican too. But it kind of demonstrated what the Republican core values are. And that's why you see a lot of people who change from Republican to Democrat just to get him out of office. Because it was very eye-opening to see he represented what the party represented. So. Why Biden won. I don't think Biden could have won if Trump wasn't. I feel like Republicans could have won in 2020 if they had a different person running. I'm not answering that. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> uh, would you rather live in a foreign city and not know the language or live on an island alone? Guys, let's not talk about the N-word. I mean, N-I-P-P-O. Let's not talk about those. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> um... I feel like if I live alone, I'd be very sad. Even though I'm pretty introverted, I'd be very sad. <laughs> I won't chill. <laughs> yeah, I said it's a little slip of the tongue. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> okay. I feel like if I lived in a foreign city, I could... Because like, I think English is pretty well known. You can find somebody who knows the language. It'd be cool to like learn a new language. I think the easiest way to learn a language is to be in the culture. So obviously blue. I think it'd be fun. It'd be a good experience. Hey Max, shh. don't call them out. Shh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> out of your own pocket, would you rather eat forty quarters or ten a hundred dollar bills? Um, I feel like both would be difficult to swallow. Both would be difficult to chug down. I know it's kind of sad, but you'd have to shit those quarters back out, and I don't think that'd be very pleasant. That that would not be pleasant at all. But with the bills, because American money is paper, it would probably dissolve in your fucking stomach. So I would be down 1k, but, you know, I wouldn't be going to the hospital and having them empty my stomach. A paper cut on your booty? No, your stomach acids would break down the paper. I know everybody has eaten a little bit of paper one time. You guys know what it tastes like. <laughs> this one's weird. This one, I'm not answering this one. This one's gonna be weird. Uh, I feel like a lot of Americans would like the previous question. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Would you rather slam your hand to the top of a thumbtack with a half-inch pin? Shoot yourself at the top of the foot with a nail gun. Okay. Mm. I feel like both wouldn't be that bad. I feel like... Because, like, in our hallway, we have a giant cork board, so when we were little, we would, like, tack up our drawings and paintings on it in the hallway. And there would be hella thumbtacks on the floor, so there would be lots of times where my sister and I would be walking down the hallway, and we'd have thumbtacks in our feet. Yes, they hurt, but they weren't that bad. So half an inch? That's a big-ass thumbtack, though. 
Easy clap, Mac. Easy clap. <laughs> See, a half inch pin. Okay, I've used it. Oh, a nail gun? I thought it said staple gun. A nail gun? Far worse. Far worse. Oh god, far worse. Ugh. I feel like your hand, it wouldn't be as bad, because, like, art, a nail is a lot thicker than a pin, okay? Nail guns are scary. I, uh... What if I hit a nerve, too? What if I fuck up my toe, I lose my toe? I don't think I'd lose my whole hand if I put a pin in it. I'm going blue. I'm going blue. Both suck, but I think the pin would be better. <laughs> okay, okay. A horde of 400 zombies is quickly approaching. Would you rather fight the zombies alongside a dragon? You are using a crossbow. Or fight the zombies alongside four gorillas. You're using an assault rifle. Um, I feel like, even though I'm anti-gun, I feel like a gun would be very effective. But a crossbow, I'd have to reload, and I'd have to be good at aiming. But in a assault rifle, I could just bop them, and like, maybe I'll probably hit some accidentally, even if I weren't aiming. But, aren't dragons villains? Wouldn't they help the zombies and just eat me instead? I feel like that could be a potential problem. Like, what if they just switch sides? What if they're a secret agent? I think red. Oh wow. Cause if we're thinking, cause like the dragon's gonna get tired. If the dragon's just like, oh, I'm full of my zombies today, it's not gonna eat anymore. And then I'm just left with a stupid crossbow. If the gorillas leave me, if they desert me, then I still got a assault rifle. I still got something to defend myself that I can take out on mass court if I need to. So if I'm thinking long term, I think red is better. But the acts of dragon accidentally cooked you? Yeah. I feel like the probability of me accidentally getting eaten by the dragon is greater than the gorilla mauling me. Oh, what the fuck? Uh. Um. Would you rather leave your 90 year old grandmother in the car on a hot day with the windows up, or leave your dog in the car on a hot day with the windows rolled up? Both are bad? Both are bad, both are... could kill them, both are illegal. Like I said, I don't have a dog. But, okay. Guys. If you love your dog more than your grandma, something is wrong with you guys. Like, honestly. What the fuck? Granny's left a good life. Guys, Mac is left with water. Just keep another eye on Mac. Oh my god. What the fuck? No, but seriously, like... B is manslaughter, C is, oh, you're a bad pet owner. This is, B is like leaving your baby in the car. You get put to jail for negligence. And, like, that's bad you could have fucking killed your baby. Guys, I literally have only one grandparent, and she's a 96-year-old lovely lady. I would never do that to her. Oh, what? Why do people choose the dog? Why? Why is the dog's life more valuable than humans? I don't. Okay. Watching TV. Would you rather the audio two seconds earlier than the video feed, or the video two seconds earlier than the audio? Dude. Freaking B. I hate when the audio is desynced. But if I can hear the what's on screen. If I can hear first, then see what's on screen first, it's way better. Because I don't- when I watch TV, I usually do, um, other stuff. So, like, I'll read or I'll browse social media because, you know, I, I have such bad ADD. Um. So I feel like if I'm, like, looking away from the TV and I look up and I kind of register what they're saying, it's fine. 
But if the video is two seconds earlier, then I just see their mouse moving. I can't hear anything. That that would bother me more. That's kind of how the TV is out in our living room. Um, I don't use that TV much anyway. My parents do. Um, it's an older model. It's not. It's not a smart TV. I don't think. Um, and the audio is like half a second off. So I think I don't know which place first. I think the audio plays first, and it's fine, but I think it'd be worse if the audio played after the video. I think it would bother me a lot more. Um, would you rather be stuck in a room with dead bodies or eat five spiders? Dude, I eat spiders for fun! <laughs> be stuck in a dead with room with dead bodies? That's just asking for disease, and also, like, imagine how bad that stinks. But spiders, I can eat them one and done. Easy. But being in the room with dead bodies, I, I think that would be more vomit inducing than eating the spiders, like honestly. Um, I'm skipping this one because I don't want to talk about disability. Um, would you rather have supernatural agility or have supernatural intelligence or strength? Okay, why is strength or intelligence slashed? It doesn't mean or. I think one or the other is very important to clarify. I don't know what this means. Do you want to be fast like Sonic? Or be super strong like Superman? Hmm. If I can be super fast, then I could travel quickly. I wouldn't need to drive. That'd be cool. I need to get my permit by next week. But if I'm super strong or super smart, yes, I could get rich. See, I have, I have the practical brain. Whenever I take those um, personality tests, I'm always a practical person. And if I'm super strong, then I can piece out to punch everyone. I think red is better. Being fast is cool, but it's not as useful. Okay. Would you rather not be able to taste or not be able to smell? If you can't smell, you can't taste. But you can still taste to a lesser degree. Hi, Scootish! Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, hon. Um, well, I can't fucking smell anyway. Like, I've never been able to smell. I can only smell super intense smells. You can't do either, yeah. But if I can't taste it all, what would be the point of living? I live to eat, okay? I look forward to grocery shopping and buying a little cake to take home. If I can't do that, what is the point? If I'm- if I can't smell, I can still taste a little bit. Okay, good, good. If everybody else shows taste, I'd be very sad. Yep, oh, you got long COVID, damn. See, I've never gotten tested, but I definitely show the sign of COVID, guys. Fully vax, boosted, get your vaccines, get your boosters when they, you were eligible. But I definitely show signs of long COVID, so I probably just was asymptomatic. And have long COVID. I don't know. I have to go get an antibody tested at some point. Oh yeah, Deacon, you're saying you've had it way too many times. <laughs> Damn, such. Yeah, not being able to smell, I think is better. I think that's the way to go. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Would you rather always be hot or always be cold? I cannot stand being warm. Because, like, I feel like if you're cold, you can always put more layers on. But when you're hot, you can only take so much off, you know? Well, I ain't going to walk around topless. We can't do that shit. That's illegal. I'm already hot, King and Chad. Me too, man. Me too. <laughs> um. Hmm. Like I said, if you're cold, you can just put more layers on. With hot, you can't do too much. Like, right now, I'd be wearing my wife beater if I could, but I can't. I mean, I could, but it's a bit too low cut. Um, hmm. Obviously, I'd always be cold. If I could live in 50 degree weather inside, I'd be great. Yeah, Deacon, we need an intervention. Stop vaping. Ooh. Okay, guys, guys, guys. Would you rather know exactly what happened in Area 51? Or accept one milli. Guys. 
Why would you not take the bag? Why would you not yoink and get the bag? I don't need to know what happened to Area 31. I can figure out what happened. They got articles and shit online. I can assume what happened. Why would you not take a million? Okay, I guess this is assuming you have like intel or something. Why would you not take a million? Maybe, okay, maybe the one argument is, is if you know what happened, then you can write a book or like make a, um, an Amazon Prime <laughs> television series or something and make like five million, but you have to invest money. So why, why would you not take the bag? Why would you literally not take the bag? Okay. Would you rather be eaten by a zombie or be burnt at the stake? Okay, red is like witch behavior. So 200 years ago, maybe that could happen. Um, eaten by a zombie? That'd be kind of fun. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, the reason why I think it's fun is me and my sister were watching Everybody's Dead. I think it is it's the Korean drama that's on YouTube, that, or not YouTube, that's on um, Netflix that popped up. So I'm like, I'm in like zombie mode. I think zombies are cool. Um, but if I get eaten, do I get to become a zombie? Because that'd be kind of cool. I could be invincible. Oh, hi, Vicodin. Welcome to stream. Being burnt at the stake, that'd be very uncomfortable. That would be a very bad day. But if I get eaten by a zombie, I could come back a zombie. So, I could live forever. Obby. Blue Obby. Yeah, I think I'm happy through the series, so no spoilers. Okay, I don't know shit about Power Rangers, don't give me hate. What the fuck? We're skipping that question. Okay. If you had to eat bugs, would you rather eat 100 ants or 50 beetles? If it's 100 ants, it's just like furikake. It's just like seasoning sprinkled on your rice. Beetles, I feel like... Okay. I work in the garden a lot, so I have to kill pests. If we ever see a beetle, I have to kill it. Sag. But, you, okay. You know when you squish a bug and you hear the crunch? And you see, like, their guts come out? Imagine eating that. No. No. No way. No way. I think... It'd be like a gusher, but hard. And ants, I can just sprinkle them in my food. Ants, easy. Just throw them down my throat. <laughs> okay. Would you rather be constantly followed by 32 ducks for the rest of your life? Or have four meter long arms? Because so, a meter is... 100 centimeters. Um, EU people... How many inches are in a meter? <laughs> Wait, hold. I can look it up, actually. Thirty-nine- one meter is about three feet. So one meter is about three feet. Oh, I lost- So, twelve feet. Whoa! Twelve feet arms! Isn't that like, um, Luffy from One Piece? That'd be kind of cool. You can hit a bitch from by the way. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Let's see. How cute would it be to, like, have ducks following you? Wouldn't that be, like, Snow White shit? That'd be cute. The four meters arms? You'd have to like get your clothes custom tailored all the time. But then if I got the ducks following, I gotta feed those ducks. If I had long arms, I feel like I'd be a circus exhibit. And I don't want that. How would you even drive? Uh... Maybe you can sit in the back seat? So, you know, your arms are long. <laughs> so you would just be sitting in the back seat, reaching to get the <laughs> steering wheel? You could walk on your arms. I, don't, I think it'd be difficult to learn how to walk that way, honestly. It would take a lot of PT. I think the ducks would be cute, though. Like, honestly, it'd be cute. Hi, Emmy. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. 
Oh. Oh. Would you rather be hunted by people or hunt people? Isn't this the plot for the new... Dude, what's the new story game? It's like kids at a camp. What's it called? What's it called? It starts with a C. What's it called? What's it called? I know what it's called. I watched fucking Hassan play it. What is it? What is the game called? It's just- Guys, you know what it's called. You know what it's called. It's a story game. You play as little rotten teenagers. The quarry! Yes, it's the quarry. Isn't that the plot for the quarry? Pokium? No, it's not. <laughs> um. I think- Okay. Being hunted by people? I would die instantly. I, whenever I watch a horror movie or a thriller, I'm like, I would die. I would literally die first. Whenever I see a zombie movie, I'd be the extra that is like the second person bit. That would be me. But hunting people? Like, martial law? Not saying I would hurt people if that ever does occur, but being like the badass person who is just like murking people or murking zombies, okay? I think that'd be sick. I think that'd be cool. Okay, I- whenever- okay, when I'm answering this question, I'm thinking of a apocalypse situ situation, okay? I'm not talking about a current day, okay? I think red, I'd be more badass. In reality, I would be the- I would be a fucking wimp. I would probably die first, but being able to, like... Get people? That'd be kind of cool. Okay, I don't know what these are. Would you rather fight Jackie Chan or Jet Li? Um... Jet Li's dead. Jackie Chan is old. I think it'd be cooler fighting a ghost. <laughs> I haven't watched- Okay, I haven't watched any karate or like fighting movies, so I don't know any- I literally have never seen anything they've made, so... I think fighting a ghost would be cooler. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Would you rather- Guys, we got about 10 more minutes left of questions, and then we'll do thinking subs. Okay. Would you rather have 50% of your body burned, or 100% of your body tattooed? It wasn't- I remember reading, like, the National Geographic books and World Records, and there was a guy who had, like, scales tattooed on him. I feel like you ever see the people the videos or pictures of people and their body is severely burned and they have to take skin from other parts of their body to like heal it it's a very long healing process okay I don't I don't think I could handle that but if it's tattoos I feel like tattoos are a safe environment, they have tools to help it heal, and if it turns worse out of 100% of my body, I think it'd be fine, but like, if, if your body is burned, you have to deal with like actually getting burned, and then the healing process after. But if you're tattooed, I think, not that it wouldn't hurt less, I think the healing process would be better. Yes, some parts of your body would hurt more than others, but I, I don't think I could handle the burn. I don't... I don't think I could do it. Yeah, I, I don't think I could do burns. There was one time... I've only burned myself... Okay, I've burned myself several times on the stove, but um, when I was younger... Do I still have the scar? Oh, the scar is basically gone. I don't know if you guys- you guys can't see it for sure, but we can try and see it. But... <laughs> Over here, it's, it's not gonna zoom far enough, but I have an exclamation point shaped burn scar over here. Because, um, when I was younger, I was baking cupcakes for our garage sale. And I put them on the top rack, forgetting that there's very minimal space to grab your tray from the top rack. So I grabbed it, and I grabbed the tray out, I like lifted my wrist up accidentally, so I burned my oven on the top of the, um, on the roof of the oven. And I think that was when I was 12, so I got 10 years ago, holy shit. <laughs> I'm old. So I, I had, for the longest time, an exclamation-shaped burn on my finger, or my wrist, actually. 
Yeah, I'm a wrist. So, it wasn't fun. Would you rather watch The Sandlot or The Goonies? I didn't watch either, so... Goonies is funnier, right? I don't know. Okay. Would you rather have 115 quarters or 100 in paper money? Okay. You are D-U-M if you choose the paper money. You're losing 50 bucks. It's not that difficult to put quarters into paper rolls. When I got um, cash tips from work, I love to be, like counting my coins and putting them in the rolls. So if I can do that for an extra 50 bucks, because I think one roll of quarters is $10, because it's 40 quarters per roll. That's only 15 rolls of quarters. That's maybe an hour's worth of work. Not bad. So why, why would you not choose the quarters? You're losing 50 bucks. For an hour of your time, not worth fifty dollars for an hours of work. That is what, like five times some people's minimum wage. Why would you not take that? You are DOM if you choose paper money. Um, would you rather go to prison for five years or get punched hard in the face every hour for every day for five years? I feel like most people who grew up with siblings. They got <laughs> punched by their siblings, <laughs> so I feel like red is some people's everyday life. Um, hmm. See? But if you go to prison, that might happen to you anyway. Like, just getting decked every day. Maybe worse could happen in prison. See, every hour? How many times would that be? Guys, just get, our, get your, um... I was gonna say N95 calculators, but that's not what they're called. Okay, so let's see. 365 times 5. So 1,085 or 1,800 days times 24 hours. That's 43,800 punches. <laughs> That's 43,800 PSI2 punches every day. But if you're sleeping, you get punched. Yeah, this, I think this would work. I mean, you'd probably be like an insomniac, not being able to sleep if you need punched every hour. I think it's funny how they specify punched hard, so you can't take no fucking wimp ass punch. Okay, how would nobody not notice you're just your face is just covered is like literally black and blue? How would nobody report that? Like wait, did I have is this like public stoning where I did something bad and I just sit out in the city hall and I get decked every hour? Is that the scenario? Cause I feel like in reality. Okay, granted, reporting abuse is very difficult. With, like, whether it be child or with adults as well. Oh, okay, okay, nobody noticed! Like, I get into a VC with my friends, I turn my camera on, they're like, Oh my god, Megan, what is wrong? Why are you guys choosing prison? I... I feel like... Red, I would get saved. Hopefully, I would get saved. I would hope somebody would say something. Oh, wait, is this, like, a scenario where it's, like, instead of... It's like a punishment, right? Wait, did I say my name? Did I? <laughs> Wait, did I? Did I really? Okay. Oopsie! Guys, I've already coughed up my subs. You guys, see, look, we're at nine mess ups. You guys literally could have gotten 19 subs if you guys would have taken my deal early, but you chose not to. SMH, man, SMH. Okay, I, w I would get punched every hour. Oh my god! I don't know. We should have- Yeah, I literally told you guys to take my handshake deal, but you didn't. You guys missed out on 10 subs. Um. I feel like if I go to prison, my opportunity after prison will be basically, um... It's very difficult to, um, assimilate back into society. Can the word be anything? Yeah. We only got one minute left, so if anybody wants to change the word, it better not be a curse word, Emmy. Okay. Would you rather watch The Big Bang Theory or The Office? Office, Obby. What? Why are there so many Big Bang Theory simps on this website? What? The Office got pretty good. It was pretty good. But yeah, Big Bang Theory is cringe. Like, the writing is cringe. Why- why would- why so many people? Gotta pick a hard one? You know what else is pretty difficult? Watching ads on Twitch, because chatters- I hate you, Emmy! 
That stop. Okay, we'll do a few more questions after that. But chatters, <laughs> you can avoid that ad break by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee today, get ad free all month long. Or if you have an Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account, get a free Prime sub every month. After that, we're gonna do a few more questions because we just had Emmy redeem, so we'll do five more minutes of questions. <laughs> so get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Emmy, I don't know if you heard earlier, but you. I think the word you got me like four or five times, so why why must Emmy, the chatter, do this to me? This is so rude. Okay, it's on the screen now. Now I can officially not say the letter U. Okay. Would me oh. See, now I have to do the third person strat. Would Megan rather... Have to kill three of my neighbor's pets, or kill one of my own. Well, plot twist on you, I don't have any pets. Um. <sighs> this brings back, like, the trolley scenario where do you want to merc one person or three? Because you have to think about, like, the sanctity of life, and you have to think about preserving the most people. Either way, I'm like a psychopath if I kill animals, let alone like anything. See, if I kill my own pet, then I'm just crazy. But if I kill my neighbor's pet, then I'm a psycho killer that goes against other people and their pets. But my neighbor's dog is pretty annoying, let's be honest. <laughs> Hmm. I think taking my own is one life. I said you are not the letter U. I think taking one is better than three. Why are so many people taking three? They are very selfish people. Just because you love your pet more doesn't mean oneself should take three additional lives. I don't- I don't like that. See, I bring up the trolley scenario, but literally every scenario, I never pull the lever. Because in my head, if I'm the person who makes that decision, then I have to blame for murking more people. Like, in, in those trolley ones, I, I literally never pull the lever. Literally never pull it. Doesn't matter if it's 1v10, I literally never pull it. I'll- I'll, I'll like- somebody else can do it, it's not me. Okay. I'm walking you! Would- ah! I almost said it! Would Megan rather- No, oh, I almost did it. I almost got got. Okay. Would Megan rather have a Brooklyn accent or have a Bostonian accent? I think I'm walking you is pretty funny. <laughs> I'm walking you. See, my dad, he lost his New York accent and I miss it so much. Both are yucky, yo. Would Megan rather have mo no thumbs or only have thumbs? Hmm. Hey, no. Have you? Ah! Has chat ever tried to grab things without using your thumbs? I've tried and it's very difficult. But what's nice about y your other fingers is that they have more dexterity so it is easier to grab things right oh also chat i forgot to tell you guys i uploaded a, a new tiktok during that ad break go watch it i forgot go watch it go like it go leave a comment say something funny anyway back to the question it's, it's nice because they have more mobility here oneself is able to grab things easier but if I only have thumbs... Because... Your thumb has one joint. One bending point. But your fingers have two. But if oneself does not have thumbs... Would I have, like, another finger that has two joints? Or would I just have something like this? 
Or what I have is like another pinky here. I think only thumbs would be better than having no thumbs. I I, I don't know how it'd work. Like honestly, I need I need more specifics. I need like a diagram. Oh wait. Yeah, I think you need a thumb. Sorry. I can pick up my cup with my pointer, but if I just have infinite thumbs. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Political anti time. Would you rather be a ah! <laughs> God damn it, I hate Why must chat room fuck with me so much? Okay. Would Megan rather be a mall cop or a prison guard? Okay. I do not think you guys understand how many comments I get being like, Are you Rainy Rodriguez, Omega LOL? When is the next mall cop coming out, lol? I get so many stupid comments. So, a prison guard very corrupt system, along with the normal police force. But a mall cop, you just get to mess with, like, teenagers loitering. And, like, maybe a few Karens. Whenever I see, like, um, not guards, but people in uniform at a mall, they're- It's not they're doing nothing, I don't see them around. But a prison guard, you, you're, like, beating people up all the time, so I think a mall cop would be more chill. See, I ready to choose red just wants to like kill people or beat them up. If I were evil and a mastermind, would Megan rather have your lair be underwater or have it be on the side of a cliff? Dude, underwater is so much cooler. If it's on the side of a cliff, I could like fall off the cliff. It would be DOM. You ever see the people who camp on cliff sides and they like hitch their tent to the literal side of a cliff? How did they do it? My friend did it, and he has pictures of himself, like, camping on the side of a snowy mountain. I'm like, huh? How did he do that? Crazy. Underwater would be cool. You could take, like, a submarine, or have, like, an underground tunnel that is clear so you can see all the fish. That'd be cool. Uh, um, I think we'll do two more. Two more. Because I gotta go. Okay. Would you- Ah! <laughs> I didn't finish the word. I didn't say it. <laughs> I, did I didn't finish saying it. I said- yeah, I said you. Yeah. <laughs> See, my strat is to just scream anytime I almost say the word that way you guys can't catch it. Okay. Would Megan rather sneeze every three minutes or always have the sensation to sneeze and never do? I feel like the anticipation of sneezing is one of the worst feelings. Like, anticipation can be fun and exciting. But the anticipation of the sneeze, not fun. But sneezing every three minutes would be annoying. And I'd be getting so many people sick, even if it's allergies. Especially now, people people like look at you and be like, uh-oh, let's stay away from Megan. Oh, wait, I said it, didn't I? I said look at the letter U. Damn. See, the last time we had the letter U on the board, it got me four times. And I think got me three times already. Screw Emmy. Honestly, I don't like her anymore. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, sneezing every three minutes, I think people would come to hate me. And like, okay, you know when you're getting ready to sneeze, you like have that face? You're like, ah! Wait, I said, I said it again, didn't I? God frick, god frick. Ooh, lucky number 13! We should have gambled and taken 20. I know, right? Wait, I skipped it. Oops. I'll, I'll do every three minutes. I don't know. I don't care. Okay, let's end on a nice wholesome one. Last question of the day, guys. Last one. And then we'll do thanking subs. Would Megan rather eat a pie or eat a grape? I'll be a pie. Why would one not choose a pie? I have never liked grapes. Seriously, I know they're supposed to be like candy, but I've never liked them. I don't know why, because 
I like juicy fruit, but I've just never liked the grape. Hmm. Pie, obvi. There's so many different types of pies. But yeah, why would you choose a grape? You're kind of lame. Okay. Guys, I think we are done with a silly word challenge. That was more difficult than I anticipated. Pie is mid. Huh? Kind of weird. Uh -uh. Pie is like one of the better dessert. Excuse me, dessert options. You didn't do very good. You don't gotta tell me that, man. <laughs> I know I could have done better. Okay, so we can go ahead and thank our subs for today. Because I gave myself 10 gifted, and then I think Mac gifted 10 to the chat room, or gifted one to the chat room, imagine. Okay, so let me get that camera set up for you guys. Also, if anybody wants to have me write their name, you can use your channel points as well, and I'll write your name for free. But thank you to anybody who came into stream today. So today was fun, even though I actually threw. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe I dropped 10 subs. I want to cry. You gifted 10 this month? Nice. If I... Okay, chatters. If you could see how many subs I give myself every month, I think you'd be very disappointed in me. Because I think if you are on on Twitch desktop, you can... There's a leaderboard in the stream elements panel that tells people how many cumulative subs you've gifted to the channel. I've gifted way too many. It is kind of sad. But I think it's fun to have those types of incentives, you know? Okay, let's go ahead and get our second cam set up. Guys, I am sweating up a storm. Oh, Ta-da! Oh, I didn't post uh, yesterday's page on Twitter. I'll do that later today. I forgot. Okay, let's go, me go grab my pens. Also, chatters, while we're doing this, I did upload that new TikTok, so... Go watch it, go like it, go leave a comment. <laughs> Why am I not VIP? How much to pay for VIP with money? Um, a million dollars. The channel point conversion rate is... Um, one channel point equals a hundred dollars. So therefore, if the VIP is a hundred billion, it'd be a million dollars. Easy. <laughs> Deal. Hey, Mac, you gotta work a lot more shifts to earn that, my guy. Okay, talking about that, isn't it kind of weird how people who give money to a streamer expect more from them? Like, I know I goof and gaff with people who are more so regulars in my chat room. Because, you know, I warm up to their personalities more. But I think it's weird when people think they are entitled to your attention. So I do appreciate any Oilers or any Gifters, but don't think you're going to get special treatment. <laughs> Never mind the no more Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay, so you had Mac with a tier one to the chat room. Once again, thank you, Mac, our resident oiler. Also, just reminders, if anybody gifts a total of five subs by the end of the month, you do get a custom portrait sketch card drawn on stream, which will be on Monday. <laughs> you told me not to oil anymore? Clueless? Yeah. I told you, Mac, to wait till freaking Tuesday. But either way, I appreciate it. My July paycheck is gonna be huge. Now we can justify- now I can justify buying that new phone. Honestly. Okay. Once again, thank you, Mac, for gifting a tier one to the chat room. Maintaining your number one leaderboard spot. Okay, let's go. 
anybody want to redeem with their channel points or donate to the channel and I'll write your name right now. Anybody? It's just 100 points. You didn't write your own name? I'm not going to. It's kind of pointless. Because, like, I don't think... Okay, not that it's pointless, but... I don't think it's, like... I don't... I don't need to recognize myself, sorry. I freaked out for a second, because, like, you know how you stick your finger like this under your pens? I thought I snapped this pen and I got upset, but I didn't. Yeah, it's on the brink of snapping. God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. Don't laugh at me. I love these pens. Obviously, I don't treat them with enough respect if I'm breaking them. Oh, thank you for redeeming Potato. I'll do your name right now. Yellow. We don't get a lot of people redeeming yellow. But thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Aware, yeah. I need to treat my art supplies with more respect. <laughs> okay, so we're doing mashed potato because they're redeemed with their channel points. Guys, it's just 100 points. Literally nothing. Okay, not that it's nothing, but it doesn't take long to get channel points. And if you want to earn more channel points, all you gotta do is subscribe and you get a channel point multiplier. Ooh, those T's are perfect. Look at that. Literally perfect. Okay, there we go. We got mashed potato underscore underscore five. Okay, now actually the last call. Anybody else want to redeem? Last call. Dude, my white balance is so fucked. Why? I hate this warm weather. It needs to stop being sunny. Okay, that's it. We're done. Guys, I think we got a raid today. Finally, somebody I know is live. Let's go. So, chatter, stick around for that raid. If you stick around for the raid, you get extra bonus channel points. So, stay in the chat room. Okay. Yeah, today was fun. I am down 50 bucks. Oh, my God. Guys, I don't think I'm ever going to financially recover. I think the only way to save me is if you sub for free with Prime. That's the only way. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, today was fun. Today was actually really fun. I It was a lot more difficult than I anticipated, because, like, I've seen people do, um, the same challenge, and it seems easy, but it's surprisingly difficult. But it was still fun. It was a good time. I, I, how long did it take me to hit 10? Was it, what, 30 minutes? Oh my god, I need to get good. You'll get it back? Yeah, I need to farm a little bit. I need to show some more, guys. Okay. But thank you to anybody who came to stream, anybody who chatted, lurked, anybody who donated. Thank you once again, Mac, for gifting a sub to the chat room. Before we go, make sure you're following my ongoing social media accounts. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. If you aren't already, go follow my Instagram. I'm trying to post there more, so go follow, go follow. Um, we got a big week coming up. On Sunday, we have our Mario Kart tournament. Top three get VIP for a month. Okay? And then on Tuesday, oh, first on Monday, we're doing the calligraphy stream, um, portrait cards, and wallpaper for Subathon. And then so Tuesday, we're doing the Subathon. I know, it's looking like a crazy week. Um, thank you, Mac, for the raid message. <laughs> so we got a lot of stuff coming up next week. It's going to be crazy. I am stressed out. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, are we going to be reading out to friend of the show, I am JFD Down. So playing Apex right now, so it's not our normal game, but you know what? He is a very fun person. Very, his laugh is so contagious. He is a pleasure and a delight to hang out with. I'm sure you guys will love him. Um, we're going to be reading out to friend of the show, Down. So make sure Judge Rider be nice to him. They are a friend of the show, so be nice and polite. Behave, chatters. Um, if you are a sub, if you could type in his chat room, peace, peace I to spin raid. And if you're not a subject, type in peace raid. Oops, I spelled the wrong Lamau. But I will see you guys on Sunday. Make sure you guys are preparing for that 
tournament. I expect all chatters to participate, but only three of you can win. So let's make sure I spell Jazz's name wrong. Or right? I am JR. Oops. Oh, I did it! Okay, chatters, stick around for that raid! You guys get channel points if you stay, so stay in the chat room and type in his chat room. Peace I do spin, peace raid, peace I do spin. I'll see you guys on Sunday. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of the day. Once again, thank you for helping us hit the sub goal to unlock the stream. We did hit 70 subs for my efforts, so we will schedule that Pokemon Snap stream either for this upcoming week or next week. I'll keep you guys posted. So I'll see you guys Sunday. Make sure you're there for the tournament. Bye! Bye!